Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on September 11th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. I apologize, I haven't been able to get an upload up for three days, but I've been keeping you up to date with live streams. I've been pretty busy here, a little bit back to work. So starting out here, looking at space weather, looking at our sun as we had that outgoing CME and a southern earth facing equatorial hole, a coronal hole, and as well this small fiery sunspot developing in the southern region. Looking here at 304 angstroms, large plasma filaments erecting from the sun in all quadrants, it seems. Northwest, southwest, every corner. Looking at large plasma filaments here. This one just recently is huge. Big plasma rope still connected right there in the last few images. So we'll be keeping an eye on the activity with our sun during this minimum. Observing here the small fiery region, not even a sunspot. You can also see in the northern parts of the sun a coronal hole developing that dark patch, top part of the sun. But amazing images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Just look at these plasma filaments. Amazing. Wow. Looking here, 511 angstroms, and you're able to see pretty much everything. Darker spots being coronal holes, as well energy from the coronasphere of a CME. Looking now at our real-time solar wind, as we did have a small spike last night. Maybe an anomaly, not sure, but it spiked up to 350. But we've been pretty calm at around 300 kilometers per second. Looking at the Schumann residence for today, a power of 11 on September 11th, 2020. Quality of a 7.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been very busy. As you've been keeping tuned in, hopefully on the live streams, especially the earthquakes recently. But just recently, there's been quite a swarm throughout Alaska, 4.0 and 4.7 here, straight across west to the Aleutian Islands. But 4.2 here reported in California, and as well more earthquakes in Montana east of Yellowstone, west of Yellowstone. And we're just gonna look here at the last 36 hours as there's been over 50 earthquakes, if not 90 plus in some reports around Yellowstone. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared. All these fires are fishy and I'm talking fissures. Looking here over the Puerto Rico, still watching small earthquake swarm. And South America overnight was a shaken as a 6.3 was reported here in Tocopila, Chile. And 4.5, 4.6 aftershocks ringing off after that. Moving across to the African plate, 4.4 reported here in the Democratic of Congo. As well as 4.2 reported in Greece. 4.3 here, Carlsberg Ridge. 4.2 in Pakistan and as well a 4.4 in Nepal reported. 4.4 here, Indonesia. 4.9 in Papua New Guinea and as well 4.7 Mariana's Trench with the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 245 kilometer depth. Looking here the last seven days, as you can see, there are a lot of elevated rings on every continent right now. We're looking at a very large tectonic plate displacement event, I guess you could call it. 
all around the Ring of Fire right now. Deep earthquakes. The larger earthquakes have subsided. Please stay safe, aware, and prepared, and just be ready. Have a plan, North American Plate. We all know we are due for the big one. Prayers for humanity and thoughts and prayers, love, sent to everybody being affected by the fires on the West Coast, right from Washington to Oregon down into California, looking at this massive plume that has turned all the skies ap apocalyptic, photos being shared everywhere, all over social media streams. People have never seen it look this bad, and I have not seen it look this bad either on NASA Worldview in my three years. We've seen some pretty large wildfires in California, but this is a little out of control. Very, very big, and the air quality is very, very bad. So please stay safe and be in contact with your loved ones, very close contact. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center as they report all the disasters from around the world, and they are reporting over 50 fires across the west coast of the United States, stretching from Washington, Whitman counties, Worlington, Washington, the Woodland fires, Woodridge fires, through Oregon, a lot of new fires have broken out in the last 24 hours. That's pretty much all there is here to report. Trying to get to the volcanoes here to give you the most recent volcanoes being updated. Around the world, we're looking at pretty much seven volcanoes that have been updated in the past 24 hours. Particularly with the Manam Volcano which awakened 16 hours ago. But we're going to start out here, Dukano in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangue in Ecuador, uh, Reventador in Peru, and Manam in Papua New Guinea, Semeru in Indonesia, and as well Ebuko in Russia. So Manam, Papua New Guinea, so that was right after a 5.3 earthquake. That thing erupted yesterday. So stay aware and prepared, friends and family from around the world. And thank you for tuning into the Morning Dew. Unfortunately, here looking at the five-day forecast, there is not much relief for the United States, nor for Colorado, as this low-pressure system has been hanging around for almost five days. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, presented to you by Meteor Mike, the weather lover of Canada. <laughs> Starting out here, overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta. Pretty strong low pressure system coming from the north. High pressure ridge to follow. So Arctic high moving in and in the five day forecast, there will be snow throughout northern BC and northern Alberta as the system comes through. And you can see there on the west coast, low pressure system as well. Long range forecast possible relief for the west coast but yeah minus two to minus five moving northward to the northwest territories in the five-day forecast moving eastward here through parts of ontario seasonable but you will have a pretty strong line of storms moving through midweek and then cooler temperatures to follow will be kind of a roller coaster for the next couple of weeks here as we try to transition into fall. Across the West Coast, as I said, not much relief until possibly Tuesday into Wednesday as that low pressure system finally moves in. But that's also going to bring some snow to parts of Alberta. Overlooking the Gulf of Mexico. As we do have a tropical depression that might be forming later on in the week, right in the Gulf, off the coast of Florida forming later in the week. We also have Paulette and Renee, who just keep spinning around the Atlantic Ocean right now, not really affecting anybody just yet. 
overlooking Europe. Big low pressure system coming out of the Arctic. Cooling things off across Central and Eastern Europe. High pressure ridge dominating mostly Central. And then watching this low pressure system here start bringing in some cool temperatures later in the week. Not much to talk about through Africa, except for the cooler temperatures that are going to be coming through. High pressure ridge moving in. Could dip to almost freezing in parts of Cape Town. Australia. Um, not much to talk about there either. A little bit of moisture parts of southeastern. And across the Philippines, Micronesia. Heavy rains to continue. Watch for possible typhoon to form in the long range forecast. And as well, watching quite a bit of rain move northward through Japan. So watch for possible flooding conditions throughout the island of Japan as well. South America. Things are really starting to heat up. Daily evaporation rains to continue, but then watch this later in the week as there will be snow falling as far north as Peru in the higher elevations. Cooler temperatures still hanging around South America. We leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Thank you everybody for joining the family. There's been a whole bunch of new members and I appreciate and thank you all for joining. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. Please share. Show you care. Much love from the due to you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.